Witness is developer Jonathan Blow's first new game since he created the puzzle platformer Braid all the way back in 2008. And wasn't it an incredible hex? Yes, if you're going to make a debut game, make it that good. The Witness is just as ambitious. When you begin, you find yourself emerging into a lush, deserted island, with no introduction or story to say who you are, where you are, or why you're there, which creates this really cool air of mystery. You know, you instantly want to explore and try and uncover the island's secrets. Yeah, it kind of feels like an open world mist, doesn't it? Yeah. But before you can start to question the meaning of it all, you stumble across one of these terminals, where you'll find one of the hundreds of puzzles that are scattered across the island. And with the exception of a few environmental puzzles, every puzzle is based around these mazes where you guide a line from one point to an exit without it crossing itself. It sounds simple, but a better word would be elegant because it is incredible just how much variety and difficulty they have designed around that one concept. As you explore the island, you'll find new areas which add in various rules that completely change how you approach each maze. But I won't talk specifics because figuring out what they mean is a big part of the joy in the problem solving. But generally speaking, there are different symbols that tell you how to solve it or you look for a clue within the environment. When you complete the main puzzles in an area, you'll activate a laser beam that shoots up to a mountaintop. Once you've activated seven of these lasers, you'll unlock the final area, but there are actually more than seven of them, so you don't have to solve everything to get to the end. And some areas are particularly tough, so it's good you have the option to skip them if they're proving too hard. Mm. Generally, I think they've done a pretty good job with how they introduce you to each new concept gradually and layer on the complexity. It never holds your hand, but it also gives you all the information you need to know. Sometimes you may stumble into a maze before you've been taught the rules, but that just means you'll need to explore the island a little bit further and find the puzzles that'll teach you what you need to know. I always liked finding a new area and getting my head around a new concept. Partly because that process of realisation is so satisfying, but also because the first bunch of mazes are usually quite easy, so I'd find myself ticking off mazes and feeling like a genius. Then inevitably one comes along that completely shatters that illusion and makes me feel like a complete idiot. It's just a line through a bloody maze. How hard can it be? Yeah, but it's because the rules keep changing. It's so frustrating. I don't think I've ever played a game that has made me feel so smart and so stupid at the same time. My phone is full of photos and my room is just littered with the scribblings of a mad woman just trying to get through some of these. Yeah, it's maddening. <laughs> Especially when you know what you have to do, but you just can't quite see how it's possible. And then you do figure it out and you go, how did I not see that? <laughs> Although I do think some of the mazes jumped ahead by a few degrees of difficulty too quickly and I was left feeling like they hadn't really explained the mechanics. Yeah, I, I think that's kind of a brilliant part of the process though. You know, I, I like the devs put their trust in my ability to put the pieces together and, you know, have my own epiphany. Well, in my case, that trust was often misplaced. <laughs> You know, you can always just try some other area of the island. Well, you say that, Hex, but there was this one bit where I got stuck on a maze and I didn't realise I could go back the way I came and the only other way out was through a door with a different maze that I couldn't solve. So I was trapped in a box of my own inadequacy, Hex. You must be used to that by now, Bacho. I am, but it never gets any easier. <laughs> so what did you do? You rage quit? No, even worse, I used a guide. <sighs> But oh, we, we've all been there, we've all been there. It's only for one solution. Yeah. Just one solution, got my head around the mechanic and it helped me get unstuck, so... Yeah, I have to admit there are a few puzzles that I just could not figure out how to solve. I'm sure they have solutions, but for the life of me, I could not see how I was supposed to figure it out and I just ended up brute forcing my way past them by guessing every solution. Yeah, speaking of guessing, I didn't quite like it how sometimes a failed attempt would deactivate a puzzle and that would force you to go back to a previous maze to reactivate it. I guess they're trying to discourage you from wildly guessing but it just seemed like a pointlessly annoying thing to do when you need to use a bit of trial and error. It's just a small complaint, really. I haven't had this much fun with a puzzle game in a long time. Getting to the solutions and unlocking each area of the island was just so satisfying. And there are so many little mysteries and secrets here and some puzzles don't even seem to do anything, but you just know there's something going on. You can potentially lose a lot of your life to this game, so beware. What do you think of the story and the sort of mystery of the island? I mean, I'm sure there is some kind of meaning, but I couldn't figure it out. Yeah, not on the surface, at least. A lot of it felt like I was in some modern minimalist art museum. It's all very pretty and interesting, and I know it has some sort of deeper significance and meaning, but I have no idea what that is. Yeah, the closest you'll get to a story are some audio logs lying around 
of all the communities available to us, there's not one I would want to devote myself to. Then a little cinema that has some clips of a BBC documentary that you can unlock. Well, that's no better a solution than any of the others, is it? They're thought-provoking, but I couldn't really piece together any deeper meaning from them. Although maybe provoking thought was the whole point of the game. Mm. What are you giving it, Bajo? Well, this is about as clever as a puzzle game can get. It's beautiful, it's unique. I'm giving it four stars. Yeah, I think this is one of the most simplest and yet complex games I've ever played. I loved it. I'm giving it four and a half. That will leave those of us who don't have access to it as powerless as if we were deaf, dumb and blind. And I don't think most people want that. So what do we do about it? I don't know.